Hello and welcome to another video of beginners tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to discuss couple of uh, power query function that is first and first and and those are list function. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to create a data which is basically a table column which we will try to use as a list and try to find out first and and we'll do it in two manner. We'll take a static list and also try to find out and we'll take this one and also try to find out. So let's say this is one. Let's say uh, I'm entering the column using the enter data. I'm creating this table uh, four and let's say. I think uh, this should be sufficient and let's call this table as data 5 and directly go to edit query mode by pressing the edit uh, once it opens up now what we need to do is uh, we need to use um, a list function list dot first and list dot uh, first and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom column and first time what I'm going to do is when when I'm going to do this is uh, I'm going to give a static list so I say list dot first and in this one I'm going to give a static list so I start with an angular bracket 1 comma 2 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 I give this one and then we can give a default argument if nothing is there in the list that it can give us some answer and I close the bracket it's saying the syntax is correct and let's press ok we are getting all one uh, and why we are getting one because the first element in the list is one itself uh, so let's change that element to let's say something else and check it out Let's change it to 3 and say ok so that's the first element is 3 so it was giving us 3 now what happens if the list itself is empty and that's where we have given 0 out here so right now it's not playing a role now I am removed every item from the list this is an empty list angular bracket angular bracket and so the second argument is 0 now it's going to come into the play so we are getting 0 what happens if you don't have a 0 so second argument is not available then what is going to happen let's click double click here or you press this setting icon and let's remove this zero and the second argument and let's try that out so you're going to get a null so this is how we use it so let me put something here one comma two let's say we know only first one is important now let's try the second one uh, the first n so i'm going to create another custom column and here this is first n so again i'm going to use list dot first n and the first uh, in, uh, the argument is first argument is list let me give a static list and right now I'm giving just these things and let's uh, close the angular bracket give an argument of 3 and let's press ok so we got a list and if I click here you will see 3 here so first 3 elements in the list that's what we are getting right now so we got first 3 element in the list and every every row we are going to get the same because it's a static list that we are providing and that's why we are getting the same number if means this operation should happen on the list uh, we only, only have a list we right now repeating this across all the rows of the table so that many time we are getting it now let's test this on a table column so to get the table column I need the table name it should be ideally the previous step table name but I'm going to use the second step table name uh, that's going to apply to both third and fourth step so I take this table name I go and cancel this out I go here I double click and instead of them giving this if you I simply give a column one here it's going to give me error okay but if I give it like this it's going to give me the name so and this is the first now the right now this is a column so based on whatever is there in the column based on the first element is going to come out so it's not like I can go ahead and change this uh, right now without uh, doing any other operation I can't simply change it so if I want to do let's like, say I can do this dot add or something like that we can do some operation to get more things but right now it's first element is going to give so now we go into the second one and instead of static list now we give the dynamic list here and we give um, a column name here as uh, so so uh, table column and then we say three elements and the first three element you will see this is one two and four are the first three elements and I can change it to five six or whatever number even if I give more than that number let's say if I give eight I'll get the list but what I can't give here is a minus negative number if I give minus one it's going to give me error and if I can even give zero I can get an empty list so I got a list there's no if so below zero you can't give number and you can give a positive number including zero you can give so go ahead and try these functions out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you